What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk. Get this, Alexander Usyk joined Mario Lopez um, and company, and he was on a recent podcast, and they asked him, did he watch the fight? And this man responded, yes, I watched the fight, and I watched it a few times, actually. And I watched it to take notes on the mistakes that I made. Hmm. People, do you understand it's June? It's June. That fight is over six months away. Six months. And this man is already taking notes and critiquing himself on something that happened last month. And one thing about Alexander Usyk, you know the problem with beating Usyk is the people that fight him and getting the get in the ring with him really underestimate the preparation factor that he puts in, the energy that he puts in when it comes to training, you know, um, strategy, those type of things. He works diligent on perfection and doing the things and really conditioning and do the things that he know he needs to do. Those shots that he took from Tyson Fury, I'm not saying Tyson Fury couldn't punch. What I'm saying is, I'm saying the punches that he took, he was already conditioned for those shots. Those big ass AJ punches that he took that had him looking like a raccoon. Yeah, those shots hurt him. Yeah, he got hurt in those, those fights. You know, I think he got, I know he got hurt in the first fight. And you know he takes punches. Look at his face. You can't say he doesn't take punches. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, oh, he's just that defensively sound. No, he takes shots as well. He's good defensively, but he's too aggressive not to get hit at times. So you got someone like that versus someone like Tyson Fury getting drunk, all, all, you know, off his ass like that. And people like, oh, well, it's okay. Well, I get people like to drink. Hell, I like to drink, but I'm not a professional boxer either. And I'm not proclaiming to be the best heavyweight since it came, since, or since they came out that mothers, you know what? I'm not claiming that. I'm not claiming, you know, what Tyson Fury's claiming. So he has a tall order. So for him doing what he's doing is disappointing because you can't do what another guy that beats you is doing, you know? Uh, you can't do what you've been doing versus the other guy that's doing what he's doing and think to win. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a part of training. That's a part of fearing and loathing. You know what I mean? And I don't know what else, you know. Um, um, I can't say healing, you know, going through it. You know, the things that he's, you know, he's going through. But back to Usyk, it just shows you this man ain't fucking around. This man ain't playing around. See, he's taking the rematch just as serious as he is the first fight. Then now he has he, he he has a drawing board. He has something to work with. He knows, okay, I've been in there with Tyson. He's a big guy. It wasn't easy. That flicking, that jabbing, that 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 feigning that Tyson was doing was giving him problems. Okay, we know that if you watched the fight unbiasedly, you knew Tyson Fury's jab was 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 doing uh uh Usyk's face some injustice. He was landing with that jab. And it's unpredictable if somebody's, you know, feigning and, you know, he, and he's feigning the way he is and he's quick the way he is. You know what I mean? And he has boxing truth, boxing fundamentals. Then he's doing what he's doing to Alexander Usyk. Yes, he was giving him problems, but the, it didn't come down to that damn jab. It didn't come down to the right uppercut to the body or the right uppercut upstairs. It came down to pers perseverance and uh, Usyk's ability to stay in the game without being frustrated, without being um, at a point where I want to give up. You know what I mean? He was relentless in there. He kept on following, uh, uh, pursuing, stalking Tyson Fury until he landed the right punch to change the whole fight tremendously. Now he's looking at that fight already weeks after, only weeks after the fight's over, and he's taking notes on how good he can do the next time. That's a dangerous man right there.
That's all I'm saying. You guys tell me what you think about Alexander Usyk already taking notes on the rematch with Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.